They say a cheeseburger in hand is worth two in the bush. So let's make cheeseburger hand pies. Hello my dears, Buttercup the Baking Spaniel here with a wonderfully tasty new recipe. Today, we are trying something a bit different with a delightful dinner entree. Who doesn't love a good cheeseburger? Now, what if we took that bun and turned it into a flaky, buttery puff pastry instead? I'm going to teach you how to make cheeseburger hand pies. Oh gosh, doesn't that sound amazing? We better get started. Our first step is to prepare the puff pastry crust. Now, you can absolutely buy ready-made puff pastry from the store. However, making your own from scratch not only yields an amazingly delicious result, it's surprisingly easier than you would think. Because the dough needs a lot of resting time, I do recommend making it a day in advance, however, so be sure to plan ahead. The recipe I am using is actually for a rough puff pastry from Preppy Kitchen. I will share a link below to the full recipe. This recipe will make enough pastry for about four hand pies, which will also use approximately half of the filling we will be making later. So keep in mind you will need to make two batches of pastry if you want to use up all the filling. We are going to start with two cups of flour. Add in one tablespoon of sugar and one half teaspoon of salt. Whisk together well. Making puff pastry is some whiskey business. Now we will need to add one cup of very cold, high quality butter. I've placed my butter in the freezer for about 10 minutes to keep it from getting too soft. Using a cheese grater, we are going to grate the butter into our flour mixture. Tossing it together gently as we go along to coat all the butter. That worked great, because it's a cheese grater. Next, we will add in six tablespoons of cold water. And fold the mixture gently together. Don't be afraid to get your paws dirty for this one. We'll add in additional water one tablespoon at a time until the mixture holds its shape well when pressed together. On a lightly floured surface, we will roll the dough out to a square about one half inch thick. Ooh. Wrap well in plastic wrap, then place in the refrigerator for one hour. Now that our dough is all chilled, we can start rolling and folding it. This step is called laminating your dough and it's incredibly important for getting those beautiful flaky layers. On a lightly floured surface, roll the dough out into a rectangular shape. Now we will fold it into thirds, just like this. Once folded, rotate the dough 90 degrees. And then repeat the entire process of rolling and folding. Do this process about three to four times. Once complete, wrap in plastic wrap again. Now your dough will need to chill for several hours or preferably overnight. See why I recommended making your pastry the day before? All right, now that our pastry is prepped and chilled, we can prepare the cheeseburger filling. In a large skillet, heat up one tablespoon of cooking oil. To this, we will add one cup of chopped onions. 
Cook and stir over medium heat until the onions become translucent. Next, add three cloves of minced garlic and cook for about a minute or two. Now we will add one pound of ground beef, one quarter teaspoon pepper, and one half teaspoon smoked paprika. Cook until all the meat is nicely browned. Now we will add in two tablespoons of ketchup, one teaspoon mustard, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Stir that all in, and now we can remove it from the heat. Add in two cups of shredded cheddar cheese and give it a good mix. Oh, now that looks delicious. All right, now let's roll out our pastry. On a lightly floured surface, we will roll our pastry dough into a roughly 12 by 12 inch square. Rotating as you go helps keep it even. Now we will cut this into four squares. We will fill one side of each square with about three to four tablespoons of filling. Be sure to leave some room around the edge so you can close up your pie. Dip your finger in some water and run it along the edge of each square. Then carefully fold each square over and press the edges down. Using a fork, seal all the edges to keep the pie from popping open in the oven. Poke some holes on the top of each pie so that steam will be able to escape. Place your pies on a baking sheet. To help with browning, you can brush some beaten egg over each pie. Brushy, 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 brushy. And for a finishing touch, a sprinkling of sesame seeds to mimic that classic sesame bun. Now we get to bake them. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 200 degrees Celsius, for 20 to 30 minutes, or until they have a beautiful golden brown color. Once they have cooled down just slightly, they will be ready to serve. Oh my goodness gracious, did these look incredible! The puff pastry is deliciously flaky and buttery, and that filling is just perfect. Truly reminiscent of a classic cheeseburger, but with such a fun twist. I think I will cook up some french fries and enjoy the perfect dinner. Yum, yum! Thank you so much for joining me in making this wonderful meal today. I do hope you will give it a try at home. A special thank you to my patrons whose support helps me continue bringing everyone fun and delicious recipes. Patrons get early access to all my videos, plus all sorts of behind the scenes content and more. Be sure to check out the link to my Patreon in the description if you are interested in learning more. Until next time, mwah! Our first step is to prepare Gosh dang it, okay. Prepare These are hard. Pastry. Yes, it's a puff pastry a bunch of times. Puff pastry, puff pastry, puff pastry, puff pastry. Puff pastry, puff pastry, puff pastry. Puff pastry, puff pastry.